Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all well, I hope you've all had a really, really lovely Christmas. Um, I was absolutely spoiled, I really was. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas today. Yeah, we are, we did have a, a nice Christmas, you know, it was Alice's first Christmas and uh, that made it special, you know. Um, and we had all the family around we had, we did we had a really good time and um yeah we we all got together for christmas eve and uh, we all got together for christmas dear as well so tomorrow night we're hosting again and we're having a um like a games night uh so games and like drinks and yeah um and any excuse it is guys is any excuse <laughs> for anywhere and um, today i'm here to share with you what i got for christmas i know some of you like this type of video if it's not your thing you know just it's fine um i just know some of you might be interested you know you might want want you know to get some gifts yourself i know for me um i was gifted some money for christmas and um i have already spent some of it <laughs> Because I was on the web, you know, and um, and I've got some clothing items coming, so I'll share them with you when when they arrive. And um, I do still have money left as well, which I think I'm going to put towards um the like the kitchen, the garden, you know, the kitchen garden. So um, oh my battery's going to go. I'll change the battery, guys. I'll be back. Yeah, guys, that's the battery changed. Um, I just I hope you all had a really lovely day. Um, I, the weather was lovely, mind, and um, I didn't put my heat on no once, probably because the ovens were on. But um, it was a really warm day, it wasn't it? Christmas day, it, like up here in the northeast, it was. So I hope it was warm where you were, you know. But it was. We did have a really nice day. Okay, so I'm going to show you these first, and. These are a beautiful bunch of flowers I got from one of my friends. That's them there. Aren't they beautiful? I love the colours. You know, they're very, like, festive, aren't they? And the roses have got, like, glitter on them. They're really, really pretty. So I've got those that book here off one of my friends. Um, she also gave me money as well. Um, so I, that's part of the money I'm putting towards, like, the, the uh, allotment garden. Moving on, David actually really surprised me on Christmas Eve. Because I'd, you know, I'd been talking about this Christmas Eve box. Sorry, I'm just reaching over to get these things. I'd been, um, I'd been, talk, like, talking about Alice's Christmas Eve box and um, and what I was putting in it and things. And he's he's been listening, you know. He, I think he's not listening, but clearly he is. And on Christmas Eve, um, I had Alice's box underneath the tree. And then there was this one. And I absolutely didn't, um, didn't like, click. It didn't click. I didn't cotton on to it because I thought this was um, Alice's box. Um, because Emma bought a box exactly like this for Alice. It actually lights up. It's really pretty. It was from Home Bargains. So I thought it was Alice's and we opened Alice's box and uh, he said, well, are you not going to open that one? I went, well, no, that's for Emma to open with Alice. He went, well, why? It's not Alice's, it's yours. Oh, bless him. So he bought me like the things and I'm going to show you. So it's the first time I've ever had a Christmas Eve box and he, he bought me... Um, he bought me these pyjamas, these tartan pyjamas. And um, I just thought they were lovely. You know, they're just, uh, yeah. So he bought me those and he got me like these other things. He says it's, he wanted me to have like a pamper night. So he got me um, the Nivea rose. Um, that is, can I see what even that is? It's shower, sh where is it? Can't see. It's shower gel, guys. Um, and then he got me this, which is a moisturising cream. And um, he got me this as well, which is, what is that? I think that might be a moisturiser. I don't know, guys. I can't see without my glasses. But, you know, he got me these products and, um, a, like, a face mask because he just wanted me to have a relaxing, you know, after hosting and that, he, he just wanted me to have a relaxing time, I guess. And um, there's a Nivea lip balm there as well. And he got me a little hot water bottle as well. Um, because I'm always cold. <laughs> I'm never ever warm, guys. Only when I'm having a menopausal flush. But um, I'm always cold. I don't know if any of you are like that. But um, I've always been like that all of my life. You know, I've always like, been really cold. 
yeah so that was my christmas eve box off david but he got me this as well he couldn't fit it actually in the box but he got me this and it's the green witch's garden and it's a book i've been wanting um so he picked me that up you know we're doing like the allotment and things and it's um yeah it's it's just can you see he's got some illustrations in as well so it's magical practice to grow in your garden you know so I'm looking forward to reading that. It's creating and cultivating a magical garden space. So I'm really looking forward to reading that. So David, if you happen to be watching my um my video, <laughs> thank you very much. That was a lovely surprise. It was so kind of you. Really didn't expect it. Um, okay. Moving on, I got um I got this um perfume. It's the Dolce and Gabbana light blue. Um, really really like this and inside you get those products there so you get the, the, the fragrance which is 50 ml um, and you get the I believe it's moisturizer and body wash and um, I've had this gift set before you know I usually get it every year to be fair um, because this is the fragrance I wear in the summertime and um, I just I've liked it for years you know it's a really really beautiful fragrance if you haven't already tried it it's quite citrusy and it's a very light perfume it's not everybody's cup of tea but i do like it in the summer it's definitely not a winter fragrance though guys and um, my next item i got was this uh reed diffuser and it's the ralph lauren and it's the it's a bedford it's called um yeah it's a bedford i do like it because it's in like this tartany box i did open it and have a smell and it does smell nice and um, i'll show you the bottle Um, if I can get it out <laughs> so it's just like a nice green bottle with a gold top and the reeds are that colour so I got that um, I'll just pop that down now it smells amazing guys it really does so that was that I also got some chocolate like little crisps that they're like crisps but the um they, they look like pringles guys but the chocolate and the caramel sea salt so i've got i've got those um these are like in no particular order who i got them off i got a bottle of prosecco you know because i do like a bit of face i don't mind if it's real champagne or prosecco but i do like dry um over like sweet um i did get this this is so cute guys I did see these, you know, they were in um, B and M. They say like bottle bags, and I, I did like them. But um, yeah, I'm so I'm really happy that I got one. And inside is, you've guessed it, <laughs> Elian's favourite <have> drink, <laughs> red wine, guys. And it's a bottle of the um, the Malbec. So, so I got that off one of my friends. They actually, they them they those two were off friends. The other one was off a friend. Um, I got another fragrance and it's the ghost fragrance um, it is it's ghost deep night that one I've got a few of their fragrances um, but I haven't got this one I've not had this one before so I got that one um, I also got oh I got this um, my son, this is part of a gift from my son. He's actually bought me another gift as well, and it's um it hasn't arrived yet. It's arriving today, and um it's a like a string holder. I put a picture of it up here, but it's like a string holder with scissors. It's for the garden, you know. And um he bought me that, but he also bought me this, and I, I I've got this to keep my cards in. Um, it's just I've got one. My daughter bought me one last year for Christmas and um, it had crystals in but this one's empty and um, he got me it so I could keep like all of my little cards in. Um, I've got like positivity cards and things like that you know so I, I thought they'd all fit in there so they're all in one place rather than I've usually got them like on this shelf here or on the window like window sill. And I've got some rooms as well, so I'm just going to like put them all in here and keep them all in one place. 
I've got like angel cards and things like that. I'll show you them, you know, if you're interested. Like my cards, I haven't got loads and loads, but I will show you them. I do have some uh, tarot cards as well. Again, not everybody's cup of tea, but um, I just keep an open mind. I mean, I am Christian, but I do keep an open mind at everything, you know. Um, yeah, I, I think some things can't be explained in this life. And um, I would never dispute anything, you know, I would never, I would, like I say, I like to keep an open mind, you know. Um, anyway, yes, so I've, I've got this book as well, that off, actually do you ever bought me these? And it's The House Witch um, and the, the Green Witch as well. And it's just, I mean, it's not, I'm not a witch, <laughs> but it's all about natural powers of like healing and herbs and oils and things like that so it's just like about um using nature you know to, for for ailments and things like that because most of our um, modern medicines come from um you know old practices old um you know things in nature um and this one is more for around the home um, it's like rituals, um, I think like cleansing your home and things like that. So um, I've got those two. And it is by um, the same author as this one. Um, okay, next I got these like chutneys, pack of chutneys. And also from the same person, I got these as well. And it's the preserve, so jams and chutneys. Aren't they cute? I really like those, they're a lovely little gift. So thank you very much, because I know you'll be watching. Um, I got this, it's like a little bauble for the tree, but it's a uh, bird's bees. And inside, I had trouble getting into this, guys. I probably will again, it's because this hand's just, yeah. I'd actually fractured my wrist as well, you know, in my fall. So I'd fractured like my back, the T. T12 vertebrae, I fractured my elbow and I fractured my wrist, but my ankle wasn't fractured, that was badly sprained. But um, I do have trouble look, using this. I'm still having trouble, guys. Right, guys, inside, it's, um, I love this. I got one last year and it's the, I think it's pomegranate, this one. I can't see what it says on there, but I'm sure it's pomegranate. And it's a lip balm, it's really, really nice. And then there's this as well which I have no idea where it is because I can't see it. <laughs> I think it's, um, oh, that's right, my son told me. It's a lemon cuticle cream. Um, so it's all like in this like, little bauble and I thought that was sweet as well. Um, next up, I got these and it's the Remington curlers. Um, curl and wand, isn't it? Tongs, curl and wand. You know, and it's um, it's it's that one there, and it's I, I can't remember how wide it is the barrel, but I wanted one which where the barrel wasn't um, because I've got this one. I'll show you this one. I've got this one, and it's got a, like a really really wide barrel. Can you see that? It's like so thick and wide. And this is like gives really massive curls like and my hair isn't that long enough for that i don't think because the curls are like really really big and i, I very rarely use it and then i've got this kind of this is a wand and it's i'll just get it out because i've got it in a tangle um it's this one you know just the um rem, it's remington i do like remington for hair tools um so it's the Remington wand now this is lovely for like a summer look you know like beachy waves because it tapers down and that's really nice for an informal curl if you just want like a, a boho look you know um that's that's brilliant for that but I wanted a like a a curl you know like a more structured curl a more like um I don't know like a more um yeah just a more structured glamorous kind of curl um, and that's why I, I, I wanted these yeah because um, I'm planning on wearing my hair down a lot more Um, I very rarely wear it down these days guys but um, I'm planning on wearing it down more 
and uh, and, uh, and, and colouring it as well. Look, it's shocking. Can you see my roots? They're so bad. My son actually, he, um, I was in the kitchen and he's taller than me and he just looked at my hair, like looked down and he, his eyes went like that and I went, e, what's wrong? And he said, you grey? I went, yeah, I am. <laughs> You know, I'm getting older. And then um, he says, I didn't realise that you were that grey. He went, but you're not that old. And then I reminded him of how old I was. I says, I'm, I'm 55 next birthday. And he was like, wow, I don't think they realise your kids, do they, that you're actually getting older. Um, but he was he was quite shocked by the amount of grey hair I have now. And um, <laughs> which prompted me to think, I need to colour it pretty quickly. Um so yeah, I'm gonna wear my hair down more. I do wear my wigs. I do like the wigs, but um I I would only ever wear a wig to change my hair colour. Um but I don't see the point in wearing it in the winter because I want dark hair in the winter and I'll probably go and wear my wigs in the summer again. You know, I like to have like the blonde in the summer and dark in the winter. Why not? You know, why not? Because we can. <laughs> so um yes, I'm gonna wear my hair down more and I'm gonna you know, curl it uh, with with those curlers. Um, my next item was this, and it's a a flower press. Um, I've not even opened this up yet, but it's it's just like a wooden flower press. You know, you will get to see this, guys, because I do intend to show it on the channel when I use it. Um, but I'm looking forward to using that. You know, it's um it's something I've wanted for a long time. And I remember when I was young, you know, and pressing flowers in the pages of a book, you know, putting a bit of like kitchen paper in or toilet paper or just a bit of paper and then pressing the flowers in the books, you know. But quite often you forget about them. You forget about them being there. But um, you wouldn't forget about the flowers being in here, you know. So I got that. Actually, Emma bought me that. Thank you, Emma, if you're watching. Um, my next gift was, oh, I absolutely needed this, guys. And it's this mirror, and it's um, a makeup mirror, well, cosmetic mirror, and it's by um, Simple Human. And um, Dave bought me this, actually, and I've been, like, kind of saying I need a different mirror for doing my makeup because I don't know if you've noticed, guys. You probably have, you know, because you pick up on quite a bit. And um, I don't, I haven't been wearing makeup in, in my videos of late. Well, not for a long time. And it's simply because, <clears throat> well, partly I've had a lot going on, as you all know. But partly because um, I can't see, you know, to put like eye makeup on. It's um, my eyesight's getting pretty bad. And um, I'm thinking I'm, I might need glasses for vision now, not just like for reading. I can't wear contact lenses because I've got dry eye. Um, but I needed a mirror, you know, like a, a mirror where I can actually see, like me, you know, like put my makeup on and things and uh, do my skincare. So David got me this one and it's it's supposed to be a really good mirror, guys. I've I've looked at it. You know, it is it is very expensive, but um I I just needed it, you know. And um it's got a five times magnification mirror and a ten times magnification. Now the ten times one is the smaller one that attaches onto it. It does have different lighting and it's like um like is it a smart mirror sensor mirror so when you sit in front of it the light automatically comes on i do believe that there's different um like different lights you know for different um to see what your makeup's going to look like in i think the the light you apply your makeup in is dear light um and then you can swap the light to see what you're going to look like under artificial light you know on a night out and things like that so he got me that one i can't wait to use that i really must open it but i've still been ever so busy guys i really have and um yeah as i said i've, I've got some cash as well and um i've spent some of it on some clothes and i believe it's a pair of boots so i'll show you those when they come but I also got a lovely gift sent to me from my dear friend, Honey, your Penny. Penny, if you're watching, hello, Honey. Thank you so much for the gift. It was totally unexpected. Um, you sneaky little devil. <laughs> but, um, yeah, 
yeah I did ask Penny if it was okay to show these items and she was fine with it Um, she did also send me a lovely card and a lovely letter um, which you know was it's personal so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share that you know I, um, but I will share the gifts that she sent me she got me this beautiful bracelet look at that guys isn't that so pretty it's like a lovely silvery floral it's it's beautiful it's I would wear it today but it doesn't suit what I'm wearing like the dress but that's it there. It's, oh, it's ever so beautiful. I can't wait. It's a, a dead summer and spring bracelet. Can you see? Isn't that so pretty? That's it there. So I'll be wearing that in the summer, Penny. Oh, and this dress is the, you know, the dress that I bought um, in the charity shop with the m and dress. This is it on. It's really nice. You know, I didn't expect it to be as nice on, but I love it. Um... So yeah, check out the charity shops because you get some real bargains. I'm just going to take this bracelet off, but isn't it ever so pretty? I love it. And she also got me this little, I'll show you, it's by Radley. You know, I, I love my Radley. And she got me this little card wallet. So it's a card and like a, you know, for your, your loose change, your coins. But isn't that lovely? I'll just take that out. Isn't that gorgeous? And you know what? My mum used to do this and she put a coin in, you know, she put a pound in and it's it's supposed to be for luck. Like my mum used to put silver in. But isn't that cute? It's lovely. And she knows I love my Radley. So thank you for that penny. But that's not all she got me because she got me this. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Now, she picked this up. I, I, I'm terrified in case I break it. She picked me this up from like a vintage shop. And it's a beautiful dressing table set. Can you see? Isn't that beautiful? And it's the mirror. So that's the mirror there. I'm not going to turn it because you prob probably blind you or something. So that's the beautiful mirror there. And this is the hairbrush. Isn't that lovely? And a comb as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I do I do actually have one, um, but mine's um, a bit battered actually. It's a it's a bit battered. This one is in far better condition than uh, than mine is. So I thank you very much for that penny. It's beautiful and yes, it would match my bedroom. It does match my bedroom really well. So thank you. Right, so guys, I'm going to do the giveaway as well for the bag and the hat and the gloves. Um, so I'll do that in a sec. But I wanted your advice on something, and it's um we're going away for New Year's, um. And just what to wear. I've kind of narrowed it down to, to three outfits. This is for New Year's Eve on the night time. And I've narrowed it down to three outfits. And the first outfit is this one, which is the dress from m and I haven't actually worn it yet. I've not, I don't think I've, I haven't. I haven't worn any of these dresses yet. But um, I don't know whether to wear that one. This is really, really pretty and it's got like the pattern on the bottom. So it's a toss up against that one. Or do I wear this, which is a skirt. You know, this pleated skirt and it's got this top as well. Again, I've not worn these yet. So that's the top. So when it's on, it, it just looks like a dress. You know, whether to wear those for the night time oh finally I've got this one and I, I really like this one too I mean I know this one does look a bit summery but it doesn't matter because it's all indoors you know I mean it's uh, I'll not be going outdoors at all and I could always just throw a little cardigan on or something oh there's this one which that's the back of it there and it, it is a tiered it is a tiered dress so it does go down in three tiers. So which one do you think I should wear, guys? Should I wear... You know which one? 
I don't know. <laughs> Please tell me down below which which one you think I should wear because I'm really undecided. Um, I think I'm leaning towards the dress, you know, like the blue, um, this one. I think I'm leaning more towards that one um, just simply because it's got sleeves in. Um, but, but just let me know. Right, guys, I'm going to go over to the computer i'll take this over and we'll do the draw for the um the bag and the hat and the gloves right guys we've put um the comments in the random comment picker there's 60 year comments there and david's gonna press pick a winner good luck everyone uh the winner is jacqueline tweedy uh, Jacqueline, if you can just drop me your email, please, and I'll get that sent out to you. Uh, my email is in the description box down below. So, uh, yes, if you can please drop me your email, and, yeah, I'll send it to you straight away. Uh, thank you, everybody, for entering, and um, please, you know, look out for more giveaways on the channel. So I just want to say thank you to everyone for um, joining me today. You know, I really appreciate it. I would like to wish us all a very, very happy new year. You know, I hope um, next year is going to be an absolute brilliant year for you. And um, I just want to say congratulations as well to the winner. And um, I do hope that you join me next year on the channel. And um, yes, I'll be sharing a lot more things with you. And I'll also be doing some more giveaways as well. So um, yeah, I hope you stick around, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much again for all your support this year. You know, I wouldn't be here without you guys. So you know, thank you so much. And take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.